What's happening, sports fans? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good Tuesday to you. We have a good one for you today. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. But before we get into today's segment, I want to give a shout out to those Texas Rangers. They went down to H-Town and they grabbed and took game seven, 11 to four, to win the American League Championship. And they will be advancing to their first World Series since 2011. They now await the winner of the Philadelphia Phillies and Arizona Diamondbacks NLCS, which that series is tied all up 3-3. Three three. Game 7 is tonight to see who will take on the Texas Rangers again in the World Series. Again, shout out to the Texas Rangers. Now, let's talk about sports debate shows. I know that is the uh, landscape we are in now. If you are on YouTube or, or, or TikTok or wherever, social media, IG, Facebook, uh, sports debate shows now are really uh, one of the more popular things going. Uh, you know, Stephen, you know, with the personalities, Stephen A. Smith's, the uh, Skip Bayless's, Shannon Sharps, uh, again, Along with a host of other ones, uh, we got Colin Cowherd. He's not really his show is in the debate show, but you got him. You got First Things First with with all the rest of those guys on there, and Nick Wrights as well. Well, I don't know if you know, but October twentieth, two thousand three, is when this actual baby was born. That's right. There was a show on ESPN called Cold Pizza. Actually, it was ESPN two. Do you remember that? I actually do remember that. Prior to that, tech, there really wasn't any morning sports debate shows on television. Uh, it was just all news, or you know, news uh, morning shows. Uh, so that show was birthed on uh, ESPN2, October 20th, 2003. It started with uh, the lead guy, the moderator, Jay Crawford, along with Catherine Hoover. Uh, uh, who else? Leslie Maxey and Thea Andrews. That was the beginning of somewhat this moderator sports morning show type uh, uh, met, uh, method, uh, so to speak. Well, a year later, First and Ten was born. And if you remember that, I do too. That was where we were first introduced to Skip Bayless. Actually, I had known him as a columnist way before the end. But as far as a television of uh, sports opinionist we were introduced to skip bayless and woody page a year later in 2004 and that's when this sports debate hot topics hot opinionated shows was born and that would grow and grow and guess what first and ten would then add skip bayless would then add stephen a smith i want to say around 2011 2012 uh, maybe a little bit, a couple of years before that. And then that took off. And this is where we are today uh, with these sports debate shows. They are all over the place now. Obviously, you got Undisputed with uh, Skip Bayley's leading, the, leading the, he's the moderator slash host now with Keyshawn Johnson, Michael Irvin, uh, 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 my man uh, played for the Seattle, Richard Sherman. And obviously, first, first take now with his new look with Stephen A and Shannon Sharp. Uh, along with other rotating guests that he has. And then you got First Things First with Nick Wright, the rest of that crew on FS1. Then you got Speak uh, now as well with uh, uh, Emmanuel Acho, uh, uh, Joy Taylor, and the rest of that crew, uh, former running back uh, Shady McCoy, LaShawn McCoy. So they have popped up all over the place, um, and now that's that's where we are. I, you know, those shows, the sports opinion is shows, come with the hot takes which some of them can be really out there but this is where we are with sports now and it's just funny to sit here and think about prior to 2003 we really didn't have a sports debate shows where you had moderator you had a moderator then you had two guys or two women women or whatever now going back and forth with their opinion on whatever uh the hot sports story is of the day or of the week uh so uh, where would the landscape be? What would it look like without those? I wonder what. But I want to ask you guys about sports debate shows, hot takes. What are, you, what are your thoughts on we're 20 years in to now having what is probably one of the most popular ways to get your sports is to watch these sports shows. Do you watch them? What do you think of them, the take? Uh, where do you see this sports hot topics going, uh, these debate shows going from here on out? Will they change a little bit? Uh, and then, like, again, the YouTube has definitely grown, too, where you have a whole lot of different people on there, like myself, that, that do their own thing. 
Uh, so what are your takes? Who are your favorites? Like to know what you think. And what, where where would we be without sports debate shows? What are your thoughts on that? I'd like to know that. Make sure you drop a comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. I am Kendrick the Sports Guy. We will see you on the other side. And on the next report, I am out. Peace.